Right, so we're here from uh, here with DC from Fitzroy Revolution uh, to talk about this beautiful specialised bike that I had the honour of going for a ride on today. So, talk us through it, DC. So, specialised don't make a 650 bike. What we've done is taken a six, uh, 26 inch setup and uh, fitted it with 26 forks, but 650 wheels front and back, um, just to test the wheel format and. You know, see what sort of a ride quality we get out of it. See, so it's a pretty tight clearance there because it is a 26 inch frame with 650B wheels in it. So, what difference does that make on the ride then? Um... Well, the smoothing of the trail that you get from the 29er is kind of given a little bit, a little bit less angle contact with the front of the wheel and that sort of thing, but you're still getting something that accelerates the quickness and the nimbleness of what a 26 inch offers. Um, and so it's kind of the happy medium for someone that really wants still aggressive riding, you know, with the endurance aspect as well. So um, it just has been a, you know, a different bike to what it would be with a 26 inch format and, you know, smoothing out a little bit more and making it a little bit more capable to sit in the saddle longer and that sort of thing. So, so. You, you've crowbarred some 650 wheels into a 26 inch frame. Is that common? Is that an, an ongoing alternative? And, and if not, then what is going to be the difference when 650 frames start coming into Australia? Um, there's definitely plenty of frames that are capable of taking a 650, but you do reduce clearance and um, obviously it affects your geometry and that everything sits taller. But um, it is a compromise, like, you know, clearance for mud and all that sort of stuff is always going to be an issue. But you can always throw a 26 inch back into the bike and have something for the winter months that's, you know, capable of taking that sort of crud. But certainly for the sake of giving it a trial, yeah. it's, uh, you know, the differences are okay. almost negligible. Yeah. And there's a lot more manufacturers now that offer 26 um, frames that do have that sort of clearance. And there's a lot of manufacturers that make all the tyres and rims and, you know, 650 formats as well. So. A spare set of wheels in the garage to give you a different bike is a cheaper alternative than a new frame. So. Okay, so anything more to say as to why someone would choose a 650B versus a 29er or a 26 inch in your opinion? Um, height's always a component, like I'm not a super tall guy, so you know, a big extra large frame obviously fits a 29er really well. Um, being a medium sized frame, it's not necessarily as nice to have 29 inches, um, especially if you're after something that will pump the trail better and that sort of thing. So it's definitely a, a considered um, option in terms of um, trying to get something that's more endurance orientated. Okay. So uh, certainly I was lucky enough to uh, take this ride, this bike for a ride myself today. And look, I'm a pretty small bloke, um, about five foot uh, six or eight or something like that. I don't know, one meter 70 and 65 kilos. Uh, I ride on relatively non-technical trails that uh, flow quite smooth, I guess you could say. Uh, so I typically ride a hardtail, but uh, I guess I've got a dually in the shed as well. Um, and I, look, really enjoyed to the, uh, the ride on the 650. Um, I felt like I could get over the top of the bike uh, rather than me just sitting on a big set of wheels. Uh, I felt I could pump the trail a bit more, just as DC was saying. And, and look, personally, I guess I think that, uh, you know, 650 wheels... Um, would suit someone of my stature on non-technical, quite flowy, but also quite nimble trails. And that was important for me to try and find a bike that retained uh, the speed and the momentum um, and the, uh, the flickability of, of the 26 wheels, wheels that I like uh, up to now. So look, well, in summary, would you say uh, choose, choose a bike A on your hide and B on your trails? Yeah, I think, I mean, everything is going to have a place. So, you know, a big wheel bike is going to still fit a smaller person, but it depends on the trails you choose to ride. Um, if you really like technical trails, then a smaller wheel really is going to be a better wheel. Whether you need to go 26 inch small or 650 small, it just depends on what you feel comfortable with and how your riding style accommodates it. And certainly, look, it's got to be said, then, uh, and look, I'm not a 29er rider, I've only ridden them a couple of times, but even though the difference in the 26 inch wheel and the 650 is quite small it was noticeably different in terms of flattening out the trail and uh, retaining some more flow over you know slight undulations and the odd rock and what have you so I still think there's uh, benefits in rolling momentum as well so Definitely. Yep. good but uh, certainly if you're looking for a, a new bike then can't uh, speak highly enough of DC and the, uh, the terrific range of specialized and other uh, models that he has uh, in the Fitzroy Revolution uh, get down there and check it out thank you thanks sir